What's up, my little writer? Today is Friday, the 5th of January, and I'm up a little bit early. Um, my friend invited me to breakfast, so I'm going to go. I picked my clothes out, but I don't know exactly what I'm going to wear, so I'm going to let you guys help me pick it out. Okay? I'm going to wear these jeans for sure, but I'm going to wear this sweater, this little bodysuit shaper underneath, and the jeans, or this sweater. And this one is long, you guys. With this little bodysuit shaper underneath. If I wear this sweater, I'm gonna use, I'm gonna wear my little Michael Kors wallet that my grand my granddaughter my daughter-in-law got me. But if I wear this one, I'm just gonna carry ooh, my little phone case. And I'm carrying those things because I'm sick of carrying purses, you guys. I'm sick of crossbodies. I'm sick of big bag. I'm sick of medium-sized bags. So, yeah. That's what I'm doing. Now, I don't know if you guys remember when I did my Timu haul last week. But I got some eye patches in there. So, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to put these eye patches on. And I'm going to go in the beauty room. And install this wig that I got. And I'll tell you about the wig when I get to the beauty room. I'll be right back. And as, and as you guys can see, they're not puffy. They, they are puffy, you guys. I ain't going to even lie. They're puffy. I didn't get no sleep last night. You guys, I don't know how this video ended up being a um, get ready with me. <laughs> ah, it wasn't even going to be called that. But... I'm gonna brush my teeth, wash my face, put on this eye mask. I've already had my shower because I take a bath at night time and a shower in the morning. But yeah. Okay, you guys, right now I'm just going to be washing my face with that black bar soap. And it's the Shea African black bar soap. And there's an African black soap that I used to get from L.A., but the place went out of business. And this soap is really, really, really good. I don't have a picture of the package, but I know it's the Shea African um, black soap. And I found that in, I believe, Walmart. That soap is so good, you guys. Whenever you, And I never really do a get rid of me, me like this. But I don't put a lot of stuff on my skin because my skin is super sensitive. So with that being said, I just use the soap and then I put on my, um, my, um, well today I did it different. I used the soap and then I put on the eye mask. And then after that, I put on my, um, Melaleuca Day Cream. And it's just a cream that moisturizes and put, um, and it's a, a sunscreen also. And what, then I put my, what you call it on it, that's what the what you call it. You guys will see what it is because I'm editing this video and I don't have the stuff right in front of me. But I will tell in the next little clip what it is. And y'all, there's Vaseline. Back in the day, somebody hit me to put in a uh, hip. They, they gave me game. I'm putting Vaseline on my eyebrows. I'll tell you why. Okay, you guys, I still got the <clears throat> the eye mask on. And right now, I'm going to just be putting some um, some um, concealer on the lace of this wig. Because I'm not doing that bleaching and knots and all that. And yeah, and then after that, I'm going to be um, installing the wig with the Frontal Queens Adhesive Spray, which I love, you guys. Love, love, love it. I ordered it off of um, Facebook. And that's going to be about it, I believe. So there's no need for me to talk. I already told you I was going to be putting the foundation or the um, contour on there. And I didn't know if I was going to use the tape or the glue 
or the hairspray. So I said I wasn't going to use the tape because I'm, I, I don't sleep in my wigs. I'll take it off. So I'm going to put my little stocking cap on, you guys. And I'm not um, using any glue to keep that on. Just a stocking cap and a little bit of the frontal queen spray. And I'll be thinking I have everything I need to do the video. Then I have to get up and reach for stuff. One day I'm going to have it together, you guys. Just one day. Now, it ain't today, though. It ain't today. And I, I'm contemplating if I'm going to tell you guys. I didn't make this wig. It's not a custom unit. But I did order it for the low low. And I'm not going to tell y'all where. I, uh, I guess I can tell y'all where. Where y'all think it's from? Down in the comment section of this video. Um, yeah, tell me where y'all think this wig is from. But I'm going to tell you, it is not. I don't have a big head. I have a very small head. This weave is definitely not big head friendly because it fit my head snug. See, here I go getting up and stuff. Getting up. Let's see. Now what am I getting up for? Oh, there it is. Frontal queens. I don't know if you guys can see it. Maybe if I lift it up there long enough, I'm just going to spray down on there. And the thing about this adhesive spray, it, it it's very, very secure. But when you take it off, it's so easy to take off. And it don't be pulling your skin and stuff. So, yeah. And then the next day, if I, wear, if I were to wear this wig tomorrow, I would just put it on and you just put it on. I'm not even putting any more of the glue on. I'll just put the little band on there, let it stand there for about five minutes, and it'll be stuck down again. Yep. Frontal Queen, Frontal Queen's Spray Adhesive. Got it on Facebook. You guys, it's so much easier installing a wig when you're not recording because I'm, tr I'm trying to keep you guys in the frame, but I'm also looking in the mirror. And that's why sometimes you guys may see me out of frame because I'm trying to get close to the mirror. The camera's sitting right in front of me. So with that being said, I can't get too close to the camera. And I scooch, I scooch to the side so I can see the mirror. I ain't scooching right there, you guys, but yeah. Now I'm putting some icy um, spritz on there. Putting a scarf on so I can lay that lace down. And that's about it. I'm gonna be putting some um, some mousse on it. The um, olive mousse. You guys will see what it is, you guys. Yep, that right there. That's what that was. And I had to put a lot on it. I even sprayed some water on it just so I wouldn't have so much product on it. But yeah, this wig required a lot, a lot, a lot. And I was hoping that usually with this type of hair, it poofs up big. And I'd be looking like Shaka Khan with the big hair. But let's see. I, I Like I said, I did have to use a lot of product on this hair. But I guess you get what you pay for. It wasn't. It really wasn't that bad, you guys. And then at the end of the day, it did puff up, but it didn't puff up as bad as I thought it was. Let me tell you where I got this wig from, and this is not sponsored. I got this wig from Team One. I think it was like thirty-five dollars or something like that. And I had the wig for about about two months now, and it's their kinky curly. So yeah, I was surprised that it did as good as it did. 
but to me ain't nothing like a custom unit with some good hair. You guys, those eye masks did help. I still got a little puffiness because like I said, I haven't really slept in two days. But yeah, they did help. And then right there, I'm putting the, um, pulling the baby hairs out. I could have cut a little bit more of that lace off, but that's not gonna be seen anyway. And if it is, the next, I'll cut some off, but I don't think that's gonna be seen because the hair is covering it up. But yeah, y'all, those little golden eye masks work. Now those were a sponsored video. And if you guys go back a couple of videos, you'll see all the stuff that I got from Timu and that's in, that's included in there. So if you want to know where I got those from, go back and look at that video. I might even link that link, the link to that video in this video. Now it's time to press the um, part area. And I was thinking it was going to melt or something because this looked like a Timu wig, but it didn't melt. It did pretty good. It did pretty good. And even though the part looked okay, I still went in with my um, concealer and made it look a little bit better. Okay, you guys. I guess you guys can see which outfit I chose. I'm not going to mess with this hair too much because when you mess with it a lot, it um, acts a fool. You guys know that I don't wear makeup like that, but the eye patches did help a little bit. However, they can only do so much when I haven't really slept in two days. So, yeah, that's that. And this is something that I got from um, Ross a long time ago. It is the Lasoy Collagen Oil. It isn't oily, but they say oil. I guess it's, it's oil. I just put this on my face, y'all. And that's that. Dry super quick. Child, I'm almost out of this. Might as well say I'm out of it. Last little drop. And this is the day, the um, Melaleuca Honey and Rose Day Cream.
<clears throat> you guys should already know this is not going to be a makeup video because I don't really do makeup but what it is going to be is me putting on some I'm about to wipe my hands on my sweater putting on some liner eyeliner lip gloss and I'm gonna um, pencil in my eyebrows my eyebrows are thin you guys on the end they're thin That one now, the difference. You guys, one eyebrow always look perfect. I do have those stencils, I could have used that. I'm going to do my eyeliner. I'm going to use the same brown for my lips. Everyone, okay, did. I have my Bath and Body Works, the Mentha Lip Mint. And there you have it, you guys. I'm done. A little bit oily, but guess what? That will, no, I'm not done. I take that back. I take it back, 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 back. I ain't done. These are our eyebrows. Show me a little bit of shaping. I'm trying to stay in a frame, you guys. I'm also trying to get close to the mirror. Yeah, because this one was a little bit thick, thick. A bit of mascara. I thought I was doing y'all, but I wasn't. I need some more mascara, you guys. For sure, for sure.
Let me put some water in here because it's just legit. And they say you're not supposed to do that, but who are they? Who are they, y'all? Who are they? Because I don't even use that this much. Maybe because I didn't put the lid on tight enough. Let's see. Ooh. Maybe that wasn't a good idea. Let me let it come through the top layer. The dripping all in my eye. Huh? I should have tried to put some lashes on, but that would have just destroyed my whole day. Because every time I try to put lashes on you guys and it don't work, I'm just going to be thrown away. Um, I'm going to my little Bottega dupes, you guys. Where's the backing to these dang things? Hold up, y'all. Let me go get the backings. Okay, guys. Now I'm putting on my little Lumi, Loom, whatever you call it, deodorant. Can't go out smelling horrific. Well, I don't smell horrific, but I don't want to handle a little musty episodes smelling like a bag of onions. But you know what's crazy, you guys? I don't even know why I try to start using using the loom because I hadn't worn deodorant in years. When I say years, I mean years. And um, I didn't get musty. I said, let me try this stuff. Everybody says it's so good, I don't know why. I'll be doing that to myself. Now, I start sweating up under the arms. Move my little camera off, you guys. Um, what else, what else, what else, what else? This goes back in the beauty room. This isn't going with me, because I'm, I get like a small size, um, what you call it? Um, liner. I always use the same perfume up me. This right here, you guys. Sunset Riot, All Saints. This is the Nordstrom's brand. So y'all can see that. And it smells just like Bacrat. Almost, almost identical to it. Yeah, almost identical. It smells so good. My first bottle, my sister got me for my birthday two years ago. And this is my second bottle. And she got me this one too. I just love it. I just love it so much. Let me show you guys something else I love. I like perfume, but I don't get serious with it like that. This Vince Camuto. This was in CVS in California, Pasadena. And then this um, Kenneth Cole White Child. Let me see. I know it's okay. I'm gonna lay it back with this. Yeah. Ooh, I forgot to just smell me. Ow! Ow! I smell good. I smell so good. Now, what to do? I gotta go put on my jeans, you guys, because I see I got this thing on. Ooh, I gotta go put on my jeans. Put my yacht because I'm down in here in my glasses. Oh, she crew. She crew today, y'all. It ain't every day I feel like this about myself. Ooh, I don't want to look that shade in. Yep. Maybe I darkened me too much. Let me put my clothes on, okay? Hold up, y'all. Hold up. Let me put my clothes on. Okay, you guys. I am dressed and ready. I'll show you guys what I look like when I get downstairs. But right now, I'm getting ready to read my word. 
And our pastor has us, oh Lord, I ain't supposed to see all that. Our pastor has us um, reading the book of Matthew. Not the book, yeah, the whole, the whole book of Matthew for the month of January. And I started a little bit early, and I know it's not the 10th day of January, but I'm on chapter 10. So let me get my reading on and get my praise on and stuff, and I will be back with you guys when I head it out the door. Get a little of my long sweater with my bodysuit shaper, my jeans, and my little shoe boots. Let me put you guys down here. Maybe you guys can see better. Let's see. Uh, yep, here we go. Well, maybe not. <laughs> okay, anyway, you guys get the gist of it. Little Timu shoes. Put you guys up here now. My long sweater is from Eyepiece and Things, Sandra Bailey. Eyepiece and Things on Facebook or eyepieceandthings.com or Sandra Bailey on Facebook. And she will, that, that um, page will direct you to her Eyepiece and Things website. Good pieces, you guys. Let me pull this up. Um, what else? Glammies, Eyepiece and Things, okay? Wig. I didn't tell y'all where the wig came from. Well, did I? No, I did not. Because I recorded, I didn't say where it came from. Because Okay. I ain't going to tell you right now. I'll go back into the video when I edit it and let you guys know where it come from. But, the wig is pretty good, you guys. It's pretty cool. It was for the low, low. But pretty good quality. And, yes, yeah, so I'm headed out. Hit it up now, you guys. I'll see you guys at Beer's Best Diner. That's if I decide to record there. In case you guys wanted to order the sweater or the Glammies, she has a lot more stuff on her website. Here's her website and her Facebook page for Eyepiece and Things. Okay, guys, I am here before my friend. Usually, I'm always here before my friends because I hate being tardy. But she's on her way. She's literally down the street. So with that being said, she's not too tardy. She's not too tardy for the party. And I'm here at, where's the sign at? There it is. Black Bear Diner. Hopefully the food is good. Okay, guys, I am back home. I got dressed, did basically get ready with me for you guys. Went to eat with my friend, and the food was, it wasn't good, but it wasn't exactly bad. Would I go there again? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. I thought it was a restaurant that I had already been to before, but in a different location, but actually it wasn't. I was like, this ain't it. So anyway, I showed you guys the food. I only ate, I didn't even really eat half of it. So I took all of them and gave it to my son and yeah, then went to the bank, came home and now I'm ready to chill and relax because I'm really, really sleepy. I told you guys the past few nights I haven't got any sleep. So with that being said, I'm going to take all this off. You guys, thanks so much for watching. If you made it to the end, I really appreciate you. And guess what? Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, comment down below. Hit the notification bell so you'll be notified every time I upload a video, okay? Thanks for watching again and stay blessed.